Hey there, artsies. Welcome to Go Artsy Studio. My name is Loopy, and I do epoxy art. Uh, so the goal here is to develop new techniques and to teach you guys different techniques and really like flex our creative muscles and come up with uh, really cool strategies on making uh, pieces like this one here. Today we're going to fiddle around with monochromatic, uh, which is basically taking a color and using different shades of that color. Without further ado, let's get a little artsy. Hello world, wake me up to another good, good morning, time to go. Got that smile upon my face, cause there's excitement in the chase, this I know. Like I said before, we're gonna work on a monochromatic uh, technique. Basically, we're taking red and blue and we're gonna take different kinds of white and we got black as well. So here we got the good old white uh, pigment paste, which is really good. It's really a, a glossy, really rich uh, white. Then we got here, we got uh, some vivid pearlescent pigment, uh, which will give us more of uh, a uh, marble kind of uh, luster. And then we got a mix between white and white pigment powder. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the white as the background. So I know I could have just put like pigment paste white everywhere, but I wanted, you know, some depth in it, some different um, tones in the white. So we did it this way. It should turn out good. We're gonna dirty pour that. Then we're gonna mix our uh, colors and then we're gonna add some alcohol ink and gradually make it darker and darker. Uh, we're gonna design something towards the middle and maybe I'm thinking maybe like kind of a S kind of yin and yang kind of thing. And we're gonna play around with it, maybe do a swipe here and there. Uh, and we're gonna see, you know, how this works. Uh, so to, my videos are kind of long, so to, you know, minimize how long these videos are, uh, I pre-mixed the epoxy and I put, you know, the pigments and colors already in the cup, as you can see. And almost forgot, we're gonna use a little bit of gold here and there. All right, so let's put, let's start with the white because we're gonna need, so I got about almost like two liters of epoxy here. And we're gonna use the white first cause it's gonna be the background color or shade and the majority will be white. Oh, I need a, a longer, yeah, gonna need a longer stick here. So I'm using Ice Thin by Ice Epoxy. Pretty good products, no complaints. Um, I use it quite a bit, but you can use any epoxy you like. You know, it's all good. Mix it, you know, all the instructions and mix it well. Maybe don't overfill your cups like I do. I'm gonna add a little bit more white pigment paste. Yeah, I need more, there's like none left. I use this a lot. Definitely gonna need more white pigment paste. So this is more like, Kind of an opaque white, which is okay, because this, I already put a coat of white paint and primer on it, just because I did the design on it and I didn't quite like how it turned out. So I wanted to try it again, but it could look really cool. This, depending on how transparent it is, it could look really, really cool. All right, I think that's good. If I had more pigment paste, I would make it a little bit more white, but that's okay. This one's both the white and the pigment powder, and oh yeah, that one looks pretty good. And because we're doing like a monochromatic, you know, using the same stir stick is a good idea. Well, that one turned out pretty good. It's this one. Yeah, look at this one's more pearl. Yeah, looks really nice. Okay, that's good. Let's do the rest here. This is good. I'm gonna use this for a dirty pour. Ooh, this already looks pretty cool. This, put half. You put half of this. Then we'll put half of this.
Then we'll take some of the gold. I'm going to put Go like this a little bit, kind of encourage the epoxy to spread out. Yeah, it's pretty good. Okay. No, we don't want to use too much. Thinking that, like that. Whoops. Okay. Black here, black here. Okay, so then we're going to add some of the red into the black. Now, there is a lot of black. I don't want to mix it up too much. I want it to be slightly unmixed. And we'll do the same with the blue. I put about half and half. It kind of looks like a little more red here and a little more blue here. So they're kind of switched right now. So then I'm going to do red, add a little bit more. Well, actually, you know what we're going to do? We're going to do this. This one's going to be, hopefully, the darkest point will be over here. And we'll add more blue, red. It's pretty good. Now things are starting to go that way. My table is a little uneven. This will be the same over here. That looks pretty good so far. I'm gonna tilt it slightly, encourage it to go the other way. Well, wow, that looks really cool. Now I want to add some, maybe some gold here that kind of Come, maybe comes out and in. I'm gonna have to be careful with the gold though, because it spreads real quick. You know, I need something cleaner. Okay, it looks good. I did a good job here. I do want to spread some more white. I'm gonna to try to do it without disturbing this. This part will be easy here. I guess I'll have to do it like this. Just do a small bit. Okay, Artsies, well, the basic design is here and we'll let it flow out for an hour or two and we'll come back and uh, take a look. So I'll be right back. Hey, welcome back, Artsy. So it's been about a day. I was supposed to come earlier, but I had to go pick up the kids and cook dinner and, you know, do the father thing. Uh, so I come back today. So I came back. So I came back today to check out this piece. And I love it. It's so cool. Like, check out this part here. I'm really glad. glad. I am really glad I used gold here. Really enhances everything. Lots of web, web work here. This one's really cool. Yeah, super cool. Let's try to take a closer look here. Let's see. Yeah. Check that out. The sides look really, really cool.
Yeah, super cool. Thank you for joining me on this adventure. I really appreciate it. Uh, I'll be coming out with more content soon. I have a schedule that I've made, and I'll try my very best to be more consistent and put, put out weekly videos. Um, yeah, I'm just really excited for uh, the future of this channel. So, you know, like, share, subscribe, and, you know, don't forget to be a little artsy. I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Peace.